Let's now shift our attention to the other big story that we are tracking on Vyond, and this, of course, has got to do with what's been happening on the island nation of Tonga. Now, Australia and New Zealand have now sent in the much-needed humanitarian supplies to Tonga, the tsunami-hit South Pacific Island, which finally has been made contact with, with the rest of the world after having been completely cut off for the last five days. Now, after having been days off the grid, the very first visuals of the scale of devastation that's been wreaked by the tsunami waves on the island nation have now emerged. Now, this is what Tonga now presently looks like after it was washed over by 15 feet tall tsunami waves. Homes have collapsed, trees, trees have been uprooted and the buildings near the shore have been completely destroyed. But also much of the island is virtually covered with layers and layers of ash. The very first batch of humanitarian aid arrived earlier this morning. Australia has sent an Air Force aircraft loaded with aid, including a sweeper to help remove the ash from the airport runway. New Zealand has also chipped in with some supplies such as water, kits for temporary shelter, generators and communication equipment. The delivery of supplies will be contactless since Tonga is pretty desperate to make sure that outsiders do not bring in any cases of the coronavirus. Now, Tonga has reported just a single case of the COVID-19 infection since the beginning of the pandemic. New Zealand has also sent in two ships that are due to arrive later this evening and tomorrow that would carry more drinking water and also some desalination equipment. Now, the explosion of the volcano at Tonga has at this point of time, according to reports that have come in, killed three people and injured several others. Now, this eruption sent tsunami waves that were said to be as tall as 15 meters rolling across the Tonga archipelago, damaging several villages, resorts, and also knocking out communication lines for the nation's 105,000 people. While telephone links have now been re-established, restoring full internet services is likely to take as much as a month's time. The United Nations has said that as many as about 84,000 people that is almost about 80% of the population has been very badly affected by the disaster. The eruption of the volcano was heard as far away as New Zealand, at least about 2,000 kilometers away. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.